the United Kingdom's decision to equip its future Type 26 City-class frigates with MBDA's new Stratus LO cruise missile marks a major shift in the Royal Navy's approach to long-range strike and maritime power projection. Confirmed through a written statement to Parliament by Defence Secretary Luke Pollard, the move formally commits Britain to the Trinational Stratus program, developed in cooperation with France and Italy. It also reflects a growing consensus among European navies that next-generation conflicts will demand versatile, survivable, and highly networked precision strike systems that can operate across both maritime and land domains. By anchoring the Type 26S offensive capability to the Stratus LO missile, the United Kingdom is not only modernizing its naval arsenal but also aligning itself with a broader European industrial strategy designed to counter the expanding strike inventories of global competitors. The Stratus missile family, presented publicly at DSEI 2025, represents the evolution of over a decade of Franco-British research and development beginning with the Perseus concept and later the FC-ASW program. The rebranding to Stratus signifies the system's maturation into a unified missile family comprising two distinct but complementary variants. The Stratus LO missile, selected for the Type 26 frigates, is the stealth-optimized, subsonic deep strike version. Designed around low observable shaping, reduced radar signature, and sea skimming profiles, it aims to deliver long-range precision effects at distances potentially ranging from beyond 500 km to as far as 1000 km. Parallel to the LO variant is Stratus RS, a high supersonic ramjet-powered missile optimized for rapid strikes against defended targets such as radar stations and air defense nodes. While the LO missile is tailored for ship and submarine launch, the RS variant is initially intended for air platforms such as the Typhoon and Rafale. Importantly, the two variants share subsystems wherever possible, reducing cost, easing integration, and ensuring a coherent technological base for all participating nations. For the Royal Navy, the adoption of Stratus LO is closely aligned with the design philosophy behind the Type 26 frigate. Each ship is equipped with 24 MK41 vertical launch system cells, an architecture specifically chosen for maximum flexibility. The MK41 system is already used extensively across NATO fleets, creating natural interoperability with Allied navies and eliminating the need for expensive bespoke launchers. Because Stratus is being developed with MK41 compatibility in mind, the missile can be deployed not only from Type 26 but also, potentially, from other Allied platforms including future destroyers or joint European surface combatants. For the Royal Navy, this means the Type 26 will emerge not only as a premier anti-submarine warfare vessel but also as a central platform for long-range precision strike within European maritime forces. Operationally, the arrival of Stratus LO will dramatically expand the range of missions Type 26 frigates can perform. With a missile of this class, a single ship operating in the North Atlantic, Mediterranean, or Indo-Pacific could engage high-value naval targets, key land infrastructure, or logistical hubs from well outside the detection and engagement envelope of most opposing anti-ship and air defense systems. The combination of stealth shaping, intelligent guidance, and low-altitude penetration makes Stratus LO far more survivable than legacy systems such as Harpoon or the Storm Shadow-derived MDCN. When paired with off-board sensor support, from maritime patrol aircraft, drones, or allied networks, the missile gives commanders a highly flexible and scalable strike asset capable of shaping the battle space before surface combatants even come into contact with an adversary. This new capability also enables more sophisticated strike tactics when the LO and RS variants are considered together. Air-launched Stratus RS missiles, traveling at high supersonic speeds, could be tasked with neutralizing enemy air defense radars and fire control systems. Simultaneously, Type 26-launched LO missiles would follow stealthy, terrain-hugging trajectories toward strategic land targets or naval groups. These mixed-profile attacks dramatically complicate defensive responses, radar operators would have to contend with fast-moving, high-altitude threats and slow observability, low-altitude cruise missiles at the same time. This layered strike approach, 
grounded in European industrial cooperation, mirrors broader trends in modern warfare, where saturation, multi-axis attacks are becoming essential for penetrating increasingly capable integrated air defense systems. From a strategic perspective, Britain's participation in Stratus signals a long-term commitment to maintaining sovereign strike capability within a European cooperative framework. The partnership with France and Italy ensures shared development costs and common technological standards, while also strengthening Europe's competitive position relative to the United States, China, and Russia, all of which have rapidly expanded their portfolios of long-range conventional missiles. Stratus is particularly significant because it is conceived from the outset as a multi-mission, multi-platform family designed for widespread export and integration, unlike more specialized systems such as France's MDCN, which are confined to specific launch architectures. The versatility of Stratus positions Europe to maintain parity with global peers and to support future strategic autonomy initiatives by enabling nations to field deeply integrated strike systems without reliance on non-European suppliers. Moreover, Stratus fits within a larger continental vision for long-range fires. Programs such as the European Long Range Strike Approach, ELSA, are exploring land-based systems that could eventually incorporate technologies from the Stratus family. This overlap reflects an emerging European consensus, deep strike, whether from sea, air, or land, will be essential in any high-intensity conflict environment. The inclusion of Italy as a full partner strengthens this position by diversifying industrial participation and ensuring the missile family is optimized for deployment across a wide array of NATO platforms. Ultimately, by selecting Stratus LO for the future offensive surface weapon requirement, the United Kingdom has positioned the Type 26 as the primary surface vessel for Europe's next-generation precision strike capability. With the first ships expected to enter service toward the end of this decade and the Stratus program moving into active development, the Royal Navy is laying the foundation for a modernized and interoperable strike network that could define European naval power through the 2040s and 2050s. This decision confirms that long-range, survivable, and precise maritime strike has become a central pillar of British deterrence strategy. As geopolitical tensions continue to rise and adversaries field increasingly sophisticated anti-access and area denial systems, equipping the Type 26 with Stratus LO ensures that the Royal Navy remains capable of projecting power, shaping contested theaters, and contributing decisively to joint and coalition warfare.